The crawls are fitted in such a way that lions won't be able to enter and attack livestock locked inside. Early warning systems allows the ministry and partners to call at dangerous wild animals and monitor their movements through satellite tracking on a daily basis. The information is then shared with communities and farmers when such animals are approaching their crop fields or livestock. This will enable farmers to take measures to prevent any calamities. The intervention we are seeing today is just a beginning of our measures to reduce human-wildlife conflict. The Ministry of Environment and Tourism is further preparing to invest more resources to build this course in other affected areas beyond these ones. It is our plan to build 20 or more of these crawls in other affected areas and also this year. I therefore appeal to the private sector to match our efforts and fund other more crawls your support will be highly appreciated. Koriha's constituency welcomed the inauguration of the facility. Human wildlife conflict is uh, evident in Kunene region. Following several uh, incidents where number of livestock is have been killed, for example, a farmer at farm Putis. Putis. Uh, in the same conservancy where we are uh, today is Laws 171, small livestock in November last year due to human wildlife conflict. It is an honor to take to uh, today that one of these mechanisms is being put in practice at Bersa. The Torah Conservancy Management has been called upon to supervise and educate the community about the facilities.